Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Genki, and today we are here at Tech Beach Magic, Miami Animation Gaming International Complex for not only a tour of the university but a panel discussion to talk about Miami's growing tech community. Lego. Positive thinking isn't so much of a choice you make, it's a lifestyle you choose to live. And in order to really be in that lifestyle, I do believe that you have to go to events to meet other positive thinkers. You have to put yourself in environments where you can encounter other like-minded people. And for that reason today, I'm here at Tech Beach. And it's just, it's so cool. My friend invited me and eee, get Genki. Any questions so far? 2015. So this is our fourth cohort. We have graduated about 150 students. 40% of our students, they usually move on to a four-year institution. The other ones get placed here in our county. We're seeing a lot of studios opening, not necessarily for animation, but AR, VR, and a lot of companies having innovation labs, which requires this kind of skills, either programmers or uh, anybody that can create assets for an AR simulation or a VR simulation. 704 students, which is... Wow. 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 It's a team sport. So from day one at Magic, you need to understand how to work in groups and how to work in teams. Everything that you guys have seen, oh, that's my character, that's Rupert. Everything that you see on the monitors are uh, college projects, projects that were developed here at Magic. All right, so uh, we built the studio just like an animation studio. And from uh, here on, we have everything that we need to produce uh, original intellectual property. Control, and obviously the green screen. Motion capture is when you actually put on the suit with the dots, and we capture motion. That's primarily used for video games, AR, VR simulations, because it's easier. You just collect data, attach it to a character, and that's it. Uh, and also, for the animation side, we use the motion capture studio to record or to get you know, those scenes that you need, bursts of energy, soccer, uh, sports, much easier for the animator just to come over here, put on the suit, and just capture that moment, then actually to animate by hand. Motion control is, uh, we put a real camera over here, and this rig can do anything that you program it to do. You can even identify a GPS point right here, and the camera will lock, and will go around just you know, focusing on that point. <coughs> what is good for us, once I have this recorded, I can export the data into a 3D application, into my or Cine 4D or 3DS Max, and then I'll have two cameras doing exactly the same movement, a real camera and a virtual camera. And that allows me to have real kind of compositing. I can have you with a suit being a monster, and you being the lead of the, and I, when I'm shooting, I'm seeing the character and the actor being composited in real life. That's how Avatar was shot. When uh, uh, the director was Cecilia Weaver as a monster, he was actually shooting her with the suit. Every single student at Magic comes through this room. They learn all these technologies in order to make educated decisions to tell the story. It's always about the story. The story is always the most important thing. So year one, when I told you they learned the core fundamentals, that's what I meant. We teach them all the tools available in the industry, 2D animation, 3D animation, motion capture, motion control. So when they are about to embark on the project, they know exactly every single tool available, every single technology available to actually tell that story. <coughs> the process of magic is first year core fundamentals. Every single student is eligible to pitch a project to the studio. Last year we had about 50 students pitching ideas for uh, animated short movies or video games. And then we selected seven. And then I invite the whole industry to come to Magic. And then our partners come. They fly in from LA, Disney, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, locally, Univision, Telemundo, uh, Discovery Latin America. 
and the students pitch again to these professionals. It's nerve-wracking, mm -hmm. but they do it. But this is already part of the process. They're already learning valuable like uh, uh, lessons on how to pitch the ideas, how to sell themselves, and then once the studio decides which projects they're going to uh, produce, then we start production. We have two producers, uh, animation team, uh, character of, uh, conceptual designers, and then he has one to, well, seven months, two semesters to go from an idea to a product that can be sold. The product and the IP belongs to the student. So we empower our students to tell their stories. And then we produce either short animated movies uh, that can become series, or video games that can be published uh, either online or on apps. So right now we have two video games published by Alienware globally, and we have two shorts that are currently on Nickelodeon being tested, and that's the magic of magic. Music? Well, this is our audio engineering studio. So in the second year we have pre-production, production, and post-production. Students have to create their own production schedule. They have to create their own budget. So during pre-production, we come to the audio studio to record voice. We work with the new World School of the Arts. They have the drama department. They have casting calls, so they send their actors. And then the students have to choose the voices for the shorts. And then we come back here for post-production where we have our soundtracks, original soundtracks, sound design, and dialogue mixed together. We do produce our own soundtracks. Uh, again, we partner with the New World School of the Arts and the music composers, they compose our soundtracks. We have, we're fortunate to have an orchestra on campus and we have another studio that fits an orchestra. <laughs> so we actually record our soundtracks live, which is an experience cross-disciplinary then. Then we have musicians having the experience of recording you know, a score for a film we have our students with experience of working with the music team, creating score for their vision. All that comes together in the end, you know, as a product. Uh, we can be, we are self-sufficient. We can go from an idea to a product all in-house uh, with production, with software, uh, all of our equipment is state of the art. We have a professional studio, we can record a CD here. And that's all part of the training and the skill training that we're giving to our students, teaching them primarily the full production pipeline, going from an idea to a product. In this field, in animation, in cinema, in video games, the most important thing is to understand that when you're editing, it's better if you shoot a scene in certain ways because you're gonna help the editor. In my case, it's better if you model some characters in a certain way, it's gonna help me with the rendering, it's gonna save me money. That's primarily what we're teaching here. Uh, my goal is every single student to understand uh, complex problem solving, because they have to identify the problem. Uh, and problem finding also, where is the issue that they have to solve. We're also uh, emphasizing a lot, like uh, 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 groups, you know, working, uh, teamwork, and leadership. If they have these three skills, they will be able to get their first, first, first job in the industry and be able to thrive. Needless to say that our mission is to get our students jobs. That's what we do at Miami Day College. New World Order is uh, we deal with Fox Animation, uh, Bandit Dash, Bandit Kate, and Morpho we did with Nicole William, Void we did with Alienware, and let's start with Univision, Memento Mori with Disney, then we have over there Fox Styles with Netflix, uh, Toy Emotions with Nickelodeon, Siberia with Telltale Games in San Francisco, and that is our first community project called Legal Through the Wall. Uh, that it's about bullying, uh, and the cycle is about immigration. You know, it's the, the disparity between like the, the, grand, the grandparents that speak Spanish and the grandkids that don't speak Spanish. More it's about a kid that doesn't have friends. Uh, more is about ghosts, that's it. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that now we're telling the story that are relevant to our students, and now they have this medium, and they know how to utilize this medium to tell their voices and their stories. All right, my, this is my job, I oh, forgot. Okay. I'm a professional, I hold doors for a living, please.
I'm a professional, please. You were enjoying it, so. You have to love your job. You. Whatever job you have, put your heart into it. Whatever job you have, put your heart into it.